What's up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? So I figured I'd make a little update video about two things that are happening. The first thing is I need to remind you guys about the track day coming up August 6th. Uh, this is this Sunday coming up guys. Uh, a little information on the track. It's going to be at Cecil County Dragway in Rising Sun, Maryland or Cecil County, Maryland. Um, you guys can Google that and, and find that track. It's really, really easy to get to. But that event is going on. That's the YouTube call out uh, event that we're doing. It's going on this Sunday, guys, so I hope to see everybody out there. The gates will open up at 9 o'clock Sunday. Racing starts at 10, racing ends at 4, and then I uh, I think we'll disperse and go in our separate ways, and I think the track closes about 5 o'clock. So keep that in mind, guys. A little bit of information on that. Um, it's going to be one hell of a event. You guys are not going to want to miss it. If you're in the area and you can make it out, Definitely, definitely, definitely come out to the track event. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. We have so many people coming. I'm gonna name off who is coming. I've got a text message here from Mike and Nick uh, saying basically who's coming. So it's basically gonna be uh, Street Sweet 717, Guitar Mageddon, myself, Troy Sowers, MVT Ryan, MVT Jake, MVT Bobby, John Doc, Joy Ride TV, Vehicle Virgins, Evan Shanks, Riley RP Productions. Greg Abarala, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. It's the guy with the Cummins triple turbo setup or something. Uh, uh, some other uh, buddies of ours, Zubaru W Arcs fan might be coming. There is a possibility they might be coming. Uh, Jimbo will also be coming as well. Mike Davenport will be there. And then uh, I have uh, two of my buddies that are coming. Uh, they have extremely fast cars. There's a few guys that are coming that have like straight out drag cars like 100 you know low eight second high seven second uh you know probably low nine second just bad to the ass freaking cars that are coming out to just show off and give you guys a really really good show so that's all the people that are going to be there possibly more than likely they will be there uh, so it should be a pretty good event. Uh, you're going to be able to meet a lot of different YouTubers, which is going to be awesome. Get autographs, uh, buy their merch, all that stuff. Uh, for me specifically, I will be selling these hats. Uh, I'm going to bring 100 of them with me. Uh, I'll have uh, 50 small mediums and 50 large extra large to sell. They are the flex fit hats. They're really, really nice. Uh, they're not cheap hats, but they're, they're really nice hats. And I want to give you guys good quality stuff, not, you know, cheap junk you know what i mean so that's why i spent a little extra money and, and was able to get these flex fit hats for you guys so i'll have them down there for sale as well so let's get to the real reason of this video and that is this damn truck right here guys let me see if it's unlocked uh, so i went to look at another shop today and while i was looking at that other shop on the way back this freaking uh, truck right here started acting up it started giving me issues with the transmission and if you guys know anything about these five-speed allison transmissions uh once you start adding too much power to them and stuff of that nature you end up getting a uh a fifth gear slip or a fifth gear uh ratio code or whatever the case may be. i think it's the converter uh lack of pressure blah 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 well she's been doing it for a while now this truck has 456,000 miles on it now and, and this truck's been, you know, it's been acting pretty good so far. Uh, I did run into an issue last year with the, the injection pump failing, which was already kind of going out anyway. So I ended up putting a used injection pump in. The injection pump's been working great ever since. Uh, and I knew eventually the transmission was going to fail. And, you know, I knew it was coming and, and I just kind of was pawning it off and hoping that maybe, you know, I could like, it, you know, not have to worry about it. But today, when I was when I went out to look at this new shop and I was coming back, it just it went into limp mode like seven freaking times on the road. I had to pull over, I had to delete the code, and it sucked. I mean, it sucked. Now the last time this happened, and I'm gonna show you guys this. I'll pop the hood here for you. The last time this happened, what I ended up doing, pop Mr. Hood here. It's all dirty in there. I found out that. Uh, Underneath this air box, as you can see, you can see one of the transmission line. The bottom transmission line down here had some gunk in the line. It was clogged, you know what I mean? So I was like, on the way back today, I kind of figured, well, you know, maybe it just got clogged again. Maybe there's a little bit of like clutch material in there that, you know, got jammed up inside the line and, and clogged it up. So when we got back to the shop, me and Max 
you know, took the air box off and I had them disconnect this line, disconnect the bottom line. And basically, you know, we started the truck up to see if there's good flow coming out of the radiator and into the radiator. Now the bottom line is your entry going into the radiator. So it goes into the radiator and it comes out and it goes into your cooler out front here. And then after it goes out of your cooler, it goes back into the radiator and goes back into the transmission. So the flow coming from the transmission to the radiator was good to go. The flow coming from the radiator to the transmission was good to go. So there was no clog. There wasn't anything there that uh, would make me believe that there's an issue with transmission cooling flow or anything of that nature. So, you know, today it's, it's some sad news today, guys. So I kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, I've worn out my welcome for this, this five-speed transmission and it's finally time to rebuild it and get another converter now I've, I've said this in other videos before and I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna say it again but I'll tell you you know right now I have a boost valve in this truck and a custom HP tuners tune now the boost valve took the boost up to 27 psi 28 psi which is a lot of you know psi for an old motor like this so I'm sure that's not really helping the fact that the transmission is you know, weak and old and, and just having issues. Now, when I read up on the five-speed transmissions, I found that in fifth gear, when the transmissions hit fifth gear, it has like 87 PSI of pressure and that's it. And what will end up happening is because it only has 87 PSI worth of pressure instead of like 240 in all the other gears, I think is what it is, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it's really weak pressure. So it doesn't hold that that fifth gear clutch and it'll actually start to let it slip and when it lets it slip it, it goes into a fail safe mode and drops the transmission down to like third gear or something so basically i'm going down the highway at 3000 rpm uh on like 10 pounds of boost uh about 50 miles an hour and it really 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 sucks so today you know i think today was pretty much last straw it it just doesn't like me anymore i don't know what's going on but um I think the old girl, the old transmission has had enough and it's time to build her. So basically what I'm going to end up doing here, guys, is I'm hoping to be able to limp it for the next week here. And I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm really, really hoping, because if not, I'm going to be so screwed. Because this is my only vehicle other than the motorcycle. And I do have kids, so it's not like I just put the kids on the motorcycle and, and, and drive around. But uh, this is my only vehicle, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to try to limp this thing as much as I possibly can in order to make it through next week and the track event and all that other stuff. I don't, I might not bring this down to the track event, but to at least limp it through next week so I can then Friday uh, pull the transmission out. I'm going to go get the parts, get a brand new billet covered single disc converter. And the reason why I'm going to get a single disc over a triple disc, and I'm sure a lot of you diesel guys out there are like, why would you get a single disc instead of a triple disc? Well, the reason is I don't make a thousand foot pounds of torque. I don't make a thousand horsepower. There's no need for me to have a triple disc converter in this truck. This truck is basically, it's not a race truck. It's not a triple turbo, double turbo, quadruple million freaking turbo truck. So I don't need a triple disc converter. Uh, there's a company local to me, uh, Landis Converters over in Leola, PA that I've worked with before. Um, you know, they offer a really, really nice single disc uh, billet covered converter with all the bells and whistles done to it for a really, really good price. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and pick up that converter and use that converter in this truck. They actually lower the stall as well. So the stall of that converter is actually lower for these diesels, which are really, really cool. So I'm going to pick up that converter and then I'm going to go visit Transtar in Lancaster City, which I'm a, I'm a vendor for them guys. And, and they treat me really, really good. And I buy a lot of my 4L60 E parts from them, 4L80 parts and uh, 350 and 400 parts, whatever transmission I'm building, they can pretty much get me anything I need. But they can also get me, obviously, Allison 5-speed transmission parts. So I'm probably going to spend, yeah, I don't know, probably about 800 bucks or so on all the bells and whistles, high energy clutches or red clutches and steels and a shift kit and everything else I need for this truck to get it, you know, to where I can make the power that I'm making and not hurt the transmission anymore. So that's pretty much... <laughs> That's pretty much going to be the plan for the old girl here. She's She's been through a lot, guys. Uh, I've had her for about two years now. And to be honest, you know, for the price that I got her for, which I've said in other videos, I paid $2,800 for this freaking truck when I first bought it about two years ago. And it had 414,000 miles on it. And it's been doing me pretty good. I've, I just had to do some maintenance stuff on it. You know, brakes, 
uh, you know, suspension. Um, you know, I had to fix the power steering lines. You can see there's still power steering fluid, you know, under there. But, you know, I had to fix the power steering lines and stuff like that and the injection pump that's, you know, in the engine. Other than that, you know, I really haven't had to put too much money into this truck. I would say I'm still well under, you know, four, I had to buy tires for it too. I'd say four to $5,000 in, you know, upgrades and fix stuff that I had to do to this, this truck. So I can't really complain. So to spend another, you know, you know, grand or so on a converter and, you know, transmission parts to make it work correctly and, and be able to last for another, you know, 400,000 miles really isn't a big deal. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's pretty much the update. Like I said, don't forget to come to the track on Sunday, August 6th. 2017 uh cecil county maryland it's going to be a great event i will be doing a little video of me pulling this transmission out and rebuilding it next week sometime probably the end of next week maybe over the weekend i don't know uh and show you guys some of that these these transmissions are really really stupid easy to build so they're not they're not like rocket science or anything i'm almost anybody can build these things they're so simple um but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the little update in the video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces.